Welcome in to a Mustang Sports Minute. Paul Taylor joined by Mustangs head coach Tracy Johnson. Coach, so much about this game, but congrats on winning the longest regular season game in NCAA history at 23 hours and 50 minutes. Yes, you had the delay and everything. We talked before the, the resumption of play. Your girls really handled it well. And yeah, you know, they had the, the, the redo or the, the resumption yesterday, but they really handled themselves well, basically playing three games in three days. They did. I teased them. It only took two days to get the second win, but uh, but we got it nevertheless. And, um, you know, we really had the momentum last night. So having to, to stop and, and resume today obviously could could definitely take a toll, but they, they took it in stride and was pretty proud of the effort that they put forth today. You also, in addition to winning the longest, regular season game in NCAA history had what I have to imagine is probably the shortest power play in history at 0.4 seconds there the last second of the game there overall though especially as the game wore on in that third period there I think the physical physicality rather and the speed of your girls really wore Lebanon Valley down agreed and they just kind of played through kind of the the rough bounces and and uh, you know the rough physical play and I thought they did a great job doing that and um, you know Anna Anna did an awesome job I'm sure you're gonna ask about her but did a great job between the pipes you know it's one nothing and she comes up with that huge save and that could have been huge momentum change and so just great job back there i'm sure she was your next question but she I actually it. she I, actually was it's like we've been, it for you. <laughs> it's like we've been doing this for four years yep. um but 67 shots and you know it was one nothing midway through the third period there and you had 50 shots on goal what's the message on the bench there when it is so maybe you know easy to be so frustrated with we're doing everything we can and just can't seem to find the back of the net just keep plugging away i mean i heard it several times on the bench like it'll come like just just keep pushing keep going um so again like that could be something that just really wears down on your play but they kept pushing through it so um pretty proud of that effort as well now nikki obviously with the two goals but i thought it was a lot of other people you had lizzie get her first goal today and you had some other other freshmen really overall between yesterday's first period and the two today really I think probably had their best game of the year. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the future of the program. I mean, they've really come a long way this season, and um, I think just really seeing their effort and, and their abilities in this past weekend is um, is really exciting. So they did a great job, too. Manhattanville knocked off Newman today, so everything is right in front of you. You guys play Newman this weekend. Everything's on the line. Everything that you've wanted this whole year is still in front of you guys. Yep, we just got to focus on getting back to work um, tomorrow, actually, and uh, you know, attacking the week and being focused and really just just really put an emphasis on the process and what we need to do to put together a full 60 minutes of play and the results will come after that but we're going to try to to really just play the game of hockey not put too much pressure on the implication of those games but know that if we put forth our effort and play like we can the results will come all right coach go get them friday night and we'll see you saturday night here in reisterstown thank you so much for coach tracy johnson i'm paul taylor again the mustangs beat lebanon valley for nothing here on a super bowl sunday we'll see you on saturday when the mustangs host newman for a seven o'clock face-off